everyone, it's Michelle Barada from Bella Branch TV, and today we have a very spectacular DIY for Halloween, for your Halloween decorating. It is so hot in California, so it's been really challenging to get in the mood of Halloween and fall here when it's 100 degrees. We're having some heat wave, and I'm really looking forward to having some cold weather. So if you guys live somewhere where it's cold, throw us a bone, because we really, really, really would like it to cool off. So you guys ready to get started on this spooktacular DIY? Well, let's go. What you'll need for this project is a mason jar and a glass candlestick that you can get at the dollar store. And then you're going to take some black and white paint and you're going to kind of just generously paint on the candlestick and there's no rhyme or reason how you paint and you kind of mix the colors together. Make sure you don't cover the top because you're going to glue the mason jar to it. Next, you're going to paint the two parts of the mason jar lid. Then you're going to mix some black and white paint and you're going to paint it all over the mason jar. Make sure that you've cleaned the mason jar before you do this so that the paint really stays there and adheres. And then after you've covered the jar, before it's totally dry, you're going to take a paper towel and you're going to kind of rub it in so it makes it look like a really old glass jar. Take your hot glue gun and put a bead of glue along the top of your candlestick. And then take the top of the mason jar and press down gently. Now take the two parts of the mason jar lid, put some glue in the interior, and then add the other piece. And now I'm going to add a cute little plastic skull that I got at Michael's. It comes in a bag, I think like five of them. And you hot glue that to the lid. Now we're going to fill the jar. I put two little plastic skulls. You can do anything, eyeballs, skulls, whatever is kind of funky. And then I got these cool votives that are battery operated and they also flicker. So they look like a flickering light and I put two of those inside the jar. Then I put the lid on, and we're done. I think this project turned out spectacular. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys loved today's DIY. I had so much fun making this. I think it looks so good and it's going to add some extra spookness. Is that a word? Spookness? It's going to make the Halloween decorations in my house look fantastic. So I hope you guys love this project too. Be sure to comment and let me know what you thought. And as always, I love comments. So you know, tell me what you think, tell me even things that you want me to do, other DIYs you'd like me to work on, because I do this for you guys, and you guys are the reason why I have a channel. And if this is your first time at Bella Branch TV, be sure to subscribe so you know when my new videos come out. I post every Tuesday and Friday. So until next time, bye! Before you leave, you may want to check out one of my other DIY videos by clicking on the video you see on the screen. You may want to check out the Halloween wreath or the face pillow DIY, which is a funky face pillow. You can kind of freak your friends out by putting it on a couch or on your bed. Until next time, have an awesome week everyone!